You! My, my. I'm so excited, guys. I'm just happy to shoot videos nowadays. I don't know why. I'm getting in the game. <laughs> but I want to talk to you guys about which truck to buy. All right? Which truck to buy and quickly just how to get in the trucking industry. All right. So if you want to get in the trucking industry, the first thing you got to do, go and get your CDL. All right? That's the first thing I believe you should do if you're going to get in the trucking industry. Box truck game, you don't need a CDL. But I would advise, even before you try to attempt to do box truck, go and get that CDL. Because you're, you're, you're aiming for the long run. And so the long game, the end game, is having your CDL so you could operate these big guys. You know what I mean? You can operate semi truck, the 18 wheelers. All right? So go and get your CDL. Study for the test. Go to the, 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 the DMV. Go, go, go get the test done. Make sure you pass it. Then you go to the school. Save up some money. Invest in yourself honestly I don't regret one bit that I've invested myself so far pertaining to the trucking industry by paying to get my CDL and also buying my equipment you know that I'm operating in the trucking game so I'm advising you guys to do the same go and get your CDL I started out with cargo van then I move up to box truck Box truck is good. Shout out to all my box trucks, box truck subscribers, and my box trucks operators. All right, box truck is good, but for me, box truck wasn't consistent enough. I don't like to be sitting two, three days, can't get a load. Nah, I ain't got time for that. I need to be on the run. I need to be moving. All right, so semi is more busy you get more loads in your semi honestly and you will be making more money yes maintenance cost is higher than when you're operating a box truck but trust me so far guys i ain't gonna complain because it's working and it can work all right so very important my advice to those who want to invest in the trucking game and they don't want to drive the truck honestly that's a bad bad choice i don't know about the companies that you can buy the truck and they will do everything in terms of find a driver set up your authority or set up uh, set up the, the, the so you could run under them in terms of lease under them and all of that i don't know about those company but i'm telling you if you're gonna buy a truck to give a driver to drive your truck it's not gonna work so if you don't plan to go get your cdl to drive your truck yourself i personally will not advise you to make that step of buying a truck to give a driver to drive no I'm talking to those who want to get in the game. They want to drive their truck themselves. They want to operate their truck themselves. Those are the guys I'm talking to now. All right? It will work out for you because you're driving your truck. So you, you're paying yourself as a driver then. Right? Which is beneficial to you. All right? Even with all the other costs, the maintenance costs, your insurance, and all the other costs that comes with the game it's still beneficial to you because you will know to operate your truck in terms of how much fuel you want to get you know there's just some perks and little tricks and little you know what i mean where you will learn how to function so you can let it work better for you than to have a, a driver in your truck with the current low rates that these brokers are doing Plus with your fuel costs, I ain't advising nobody to buy no truck, give anybody right now to drive. Me personally. Alright? So, as I said, get your CDL, very important. Alright? So, which truck to buy when you're getting in the game? 
do your research, do a thorough research, ensure you look at the, the different types of trucks and you know look at the ratings of the trucks and the trucking companies, stuff like that, the engine. Honestly, the biggest part is your engine. All right, I believe your engine is the biggest part. So take for instance, this Freightliner, all right, Freightliner Cascadia. It's running a DD-15, Detroit DD-15 engine, all right? Good engine, all right? This truck right here is an international. It's running a Cummings ISX, all right? Good engine. This truck right here is a Freightliner Classic. It's running a, a 60 series Detroit, um, 14, 14 liter, all right? And this truck right here is running a Detroit 60 series 12.7. All right, these are some good engine. Honestly, Volvo have, have a good engine also. All right, so there are many companies out there with good engine, guys. So ensure when you're buying the truck. You want to get it as low mileage as possible. The lowest mileage you can find with your money that you have, that's the one you want to get. But I would advise you to get one of these brands in terms of your DD15 Detroit, your Cummings ISX, your, your, your um, Detroit 60 series 14 liter or the 12.7 liter. All right. These are some good engine guys. I've been watching these trucks operating more than two years now and the maintenance is not too bad I can tell you that these engines they have low maintenance on them all right especially when you just get a, a, a truck maybe with a rebuild engine so the engine is just rebuild stuff like that you will have a lot of time on that engine all right so that's what I want to talk to you guys that it's not really the truck it's the engine that makes the difference I believe all right it's basically like it's your engine is your truck because that's the biggest and the most expensive component of the truck all right you'll be changing a tire here and there a plug here and there a, a, a line here and there a wire here and there stuff like that but your engine is the most expensive part of your your equipment all right so if you're gonna invest invest wisely guys don't make the mistakes you know the rookie mistakes please to avoid the rookie mistake ask question ask somebody about the game get on your phone call somebody who's doing it and then you will know which decision to make all right so I love these trucks man I love these these engines and I'm watching them see how they're performing all right because this is this is the fleet that I'm in so we're just watching and see how it goes all right it's a yardy boy here man, your yardy boy money bike and we're out here, we're doing our thing and we're trying to get the thing done. Alright, one love to all my subscribers, I really appreciate your time man and your, your energy. Alright, and to, to all who, who, are, who is watching my videos, please just hit the subscribe button. I will, be, I will be having a lot of videos coming out and I just want you to interact with those videos, alright? So, Stay tuned for more. It's a Yardy Boy here. Give thanks a month.